U.S. President Joe Biden spoke to reporters Sunday after hosting the leaders of Australia, India and Japan in his Wilmington, Delaware, hometown for a Quad summit. We had very successful meetings with the Quad in Delaware, Biden told reporters. We're all working together. We feel good about what we're doing and I think the other leaders do as well. Biden also told reporters he's worried about rising tensions in the Middle East. We're going to do everything we can to keep a wider war from breaking out. And we're still pushing hard, he said. One reporter asked if he had decided to let Ukraine use long-range missile and Biden replied, no. successful meetings with the quad in Delaware. I told the unity we're all working together. We feel good about what we're doing. And uh, I think the other leaders do as well. So thank you for being here. Mr. President, are you worried about rising tensions in the Middle East? Yes, I am. But we're going to do everything we can to keep a wider war from breaking out. And we're still pushing hard. Thank you. What are you doing? Are you have you made your decision to allow Ukraine to use long-range weapons? No. Mr. President, any reaction to the Birmingham mass shooting? Yes, Residents of the Kursk region were shown fragments of broadcasts from federal Russian television channels which called for carpet bombing, raising their region to the ground. Ukrainian military decided to conduct an experiment and showed these shots to residents recording their reaction on video. The fragments shown are broadcasts from Channel 1 as well as a talk show where Russian deputies and experts propose to complete destruction of everything, including local residents that are located in the territories occupied by the Ukrainian armed forces. In order to drive out the enemy, we need to destroy everything that is there, said Russian Duma deputy Zatulin. At the same time, Russians were horrified looking at the plans for the liberation of the region that are being made in Moscow. This is absolutely horrific, said one of the Russian women, commenting on what she saw. Moreover, the local Russian authorities of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region made a new statement. Local deputy Alexander Kramarenko, in an appeal to the state Duma deputy Kaplan Panesh, stated that Moscow did not evacuate residents during the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces due to the military's demand to avoid panic. The head of the district claims that the military command urged him not to allow panic among the population. In practice, this resulted in the people being simply abandoned to their fate. In this case, press secretary of the Russian dictator Putin, Dmitry Peskov, commented on the information of the Russian mass media that relatives of residents of Sudza in the Kursk region asked Putin and Zelensky for a corridor for the evacuation of civilians, Russian media reported earlier. According to Peskov, the Kremlin allegedly did not receive requests for evacuation from residents of the city of Sudza, which is currently controlled by Ukrainian armed forces. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard about this. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything and haven't received anything about it, he said. It is worth noting that on September the 13th, 2024, the Russian publication Commersant published information that residents of the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region appealed to the presidents of Russia and Ukraine with a request to open a humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of civilians as soon as possible. The appeal was accompanied by a list of names of relatives and friends, a total of 186 people, including seven children. Later, this message was published by other Russian media. By the way, a video message from residents of the village of Guevo in the Kursk region also appeared on the internet. People also appealed to the Russian authorities, but the Kremlin did not respond, and the local authorities, the protégés of dictator Putin, simply abandoned them and did not evacuate them. <coughs> Сделать такое возмездие.